Hello and welcome to the weekend review of week beginning 25th of January 2021. For disclaimer, please refer to my website chartvideo.com slash disclaimer. Just a week is left for the union budget. Nifty had a horrible week for all types of traders last week. Monday was a strong down day, Tuesday, Wednesdays were strong up days and thereafter Thursday initially it went up strongly and thereafter it fell, Friday was a strong down day. All in all, you can say a strong tussle between the bulls and the bears. Have we entered the intermediate term downtrend? Well, for intermediate term downtrend to be signaled, Nifty should close below this particular low that is 14,222. Strictly speaking, till that happens, the intermediate term uptrend is still on. Lower low, lower high formation will be confirmed only when we have a close below 14,222. On the upside, as I told you, well, supports on the upside, I'll be at lookout for this particular high of 14,653, whether this is taken out or not. And in case if this is while not taken out, in that case, you can expect that the low will be violated for this particular instance happens to be quite formative in nature. And of course, we have to analyze both sides. In case 14,753 is crossed, who knows, perhaps 15,000 is also on the cards. Let's analyze the moving averages and see what they are suggesting. The index has just closed below the 13 SMA which is at around 14,440. Well, in case if we have an upside, then we may just say that the 13 SMA has provided support to the market and we may head for the upper end. But in case the 13 SMA provides resistance to the Nifty or Nifty remains below the 13 SMA, well, in that case, the 30 SMA should give you a support. Where is the 30 SMA placed? Well, it is at around the 14,050 mark and that is where one can expect the downtrend for the time being might be halted just before the budget. Budget may change the course of action, but as of now, on the lower side, 14,050 would be a place where I would say perhaps temporarily the downtrend may fizzle out. Why I'm saying downtrend may fizzle out? It is just because of union budget is near and of course there are some indications from the open interest which we will be seeing in due course of the review. What is the 14 period RSI saying? We had divergences, it had reached lofted highs. Right now it is again near 58 mark but still above the equilibrium line. I had repeatedly told if we stay above the equilibrium line, generally corrections are bought into. So in case the indicator does not fall below the equilibrium line in coming days, that would be a signal perhaps, well, the uptrend may again resume from lower level. And in case if it falters, in case if it shows weakness, we will discuss about that in coming days. The ADX. What is the ADX trio saying? Presently, ADX is at 42, but the slope of ADX is downward. There is a divergence in ADX which suggests that trading market is likely to continue in the index. And obviously, as of now, if the trading market continues, as of now, the PDI, MDI might not give me any clues where I can take some trading decisions. But I'll be watching out this particular ADX for it is showing clear signs of divergence as of now. The 60 minute chart is offering us quite vital clues. A major resistance is at around the 13, 30 and the 50 SMA which is at around 14,560. This is 
particular zone which we should be very careful for Monday in case of any upside as suggested by the SGX Nifty in case of any upside whether this 14,560 is taken out or not for three moving averages have clustered at this place this certainly might be a major resistance zone. The exact place is at around 14,560. The RSI is presently absolutely in tandem with the price and as of now the price movement in hourly chart is clearly on the downside. The MDI has crossed the opposite peak of PDI suggesting perhaps that the downswing may continue or rallies might be sold into. Well, sorry viewers, for technical reasons, I'm unable to show you the put call ratio this time. We will be discussing with the open interest change right after this break. Hi guys, me and Gautamda have collaborated to bring a new course called Decoding Volume and Open Interest in Futures. Now, what we're doing out here is we are going to analyze volume each and every day, what they say about the stock, what is going on in the stock. Then we take an indicator based approach to understand the volume cycle of a stock. The indicator is distributed freely in terms of Metastock, Ami Broker and TradingView code. After we analyze volume, we go to open interest, what open interest means, how open interest build up, what Y tells you about the nature of the stock, what is going on in underlying the stock. Then we show you what is cumulative open interest, how to create a COI chart. And we also distribute an app free for lifetime where you can maintain your own coi database look at it graphically and see how the cycle of a stock is changing now the app is free for lifetime it does not need a data source you can uh, use the nse bhav copy to update the app on a regular basis so after that we come to a quantitative model which is proprietary which incorporates price volume and open interest and picks up stocks which are about to take a large move from a swing trading perspective say five to ten days three days eight days whatever uh, we teach you a method where to enter how to give a stop loss and stuff so that particular list also helps you to pick up stocks out of 140 uh, future stocks on uh, those stocks which are going to make a move this particular course is purely positional in nature but if you are a day trader the stock selection that stocks about to make a large move you can keep that on your uh, watch list because in the next three to four days stocks generally move during the day so for day traders it solves a problem of stock selection for day trading this is all about the course uh, me and gautam they have put our best into it i hope you appreciate it thank you welcome back if you take one day at a time perhaps on 28th of january you could have said well nifty did see a build up in open interest but i am interested in a total cluster what i find here that right from 13th of January till 22nd of January, there is no significant open interest buildup. Rather, there is a reduction in open interest. Well, in that case, somewhere down the line, it does suggest that the, uh, the index is tired of moving upward. Some profit taking has been done by the major bulls. Well, the market is certainly move, not in a mood of going further up till open interest builds up. On the downside, there was bull liquidation by beyond doubt. Well, bull liquidations should be again followed by open interest build up for the next strong move to come up. Will it happen before the budget? Well, I would say it this way, unlikely. Let's wait for the budget for I personally feel that a bull liquidation has taken place in that case, could be there is a possibility that upside rallies might be sold into or lower levels might be bought into. But certainly given the nature of OI changes from 13th of January till this particular date of 22nd of January, some open interest has certainly reduced over the time. If you talk about the absolute value of cumulative open interest from 13th of January till 22nd of January, well, I would say there is a reduction. Let's check Bank Nifty. The candles are not encouraging for bulls. A clear intermediate term downtrend has been signaled in Bank Nifty. You are watching. This low was 31,650. This low has been violated and we are presently standing at around 31,167. 
as of now major support lies at this particular plateau which can be said well at around 9 uh, at around 30925 odd zone this can be a temporary support zone i don't know whether will it turn as a permanent or not the rsi has moved just below the equilibrium line it has to recover from here only further weakening of rsi might be a problem well for the seven levels it may be so that it may go down for a day or two but in a strong bull market generally the rsi recovers from around the equilibrium line i had told you earlier too and i'll be watching out this particular movement very closely adx sloping downwards pdi has just crossed the mdi nothing much to say still to give you any major trading signals the 30 period sma for bank nifty is at 31350 odd levels well this would be a place where i would like to see how the uh, bank index behaves on the upside in case this is taken out a major resistance for bank nifty would be at around 31650 why i am saying this watch out this low and this low well this particular low is at 31725 and this is at 31650 any bounce on the upside might face resistance at this particular level contrary to what we were seeing in nifty the bank nifty's open interest had increased in the last 5 6 trading days continuously two days short build up has taken place the first day was with a fall of 1% the second day the with a fall of 3% certainly some short build up from higher levels have taken place well as of now we need to see whether the lower level supports hold or not in case of open interest build up there is a possibility that the supports might be violated all the same short temporary bounces may come up on the high side but it, there is a possibility that in coming days this may happen before the budget this may happen after the budget but well if such open interest build up continues this 30900 odd levels which i was talking about might act as a support well there is a possibility certainly for a short term bounce but eventually this may give way and in that case the lower levels would be quite strongly in a major way down well jaate jaate har baar kuch na kuch dikhate hain to is baar bhi dikha rahe hain is baar kuch apna hi cheez dikha rahe hain here it is biocon wall explosion the wall explosion signal came up on this particular date 28th of january 2021 where it was an alert that a strong move in biocon is likely to take place we had discussed in details in decoding volume oi a strong move well isse zyada aur strong kya chahiye acha hi to mila to der mat kijiye go and enroll yourself to the course that's it for me for this week we'll again meet next week